I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. I'm Rudy Kosky in Austin. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas, and this is Texas, the issue is. This week we're talking to Texas Congressman and former Navy SEAL Dan Crenshaw about the massive influx of deadly drugs and undocumented people flowing across our southern border. Congressman Dan Crenshaw, the word crisis gets used pretty commonly. Does what's happening on our border qualify? It's completely overwhelmed our, our southern border, our southern border counties. Uh, it's overwhelmed our resources and it's overwhelmed our sense of sovereignty. It's overwhelmed our ability to admit legal immigrants and legal asylum seekers who actually have a case. You know, we, we no longer have a system at all, so absolutely it's a crisis. Two million people so far this year, that's roughly equal to the population of the city of Houston. Is that sustainable? I mean, is there any end in sight? You have a basic problem with, with illegal immigration. One is the resources that it draws upon, uh, you know, local infrastructure, for instance, especially in the southern areas. Um, but, but it's also a problem of assimilation. How are we supposed to assimilate into our culture and into our society that many people so quickly? That no, no civilization can do that because we have a process, we have a system, and all these people just want to cut in front of it and Democrats want to let them. I'll tell you another reason it's a crisis. The, the, the southern border is actually controlled by someone. It's just not the Mexican government, it's not the U.S. government, but it is the drug cartels. The Mexican drug cartels are putting fentanyl over our border uh, and killing about 80,000 Americans a year. And yet no one knows who the heads of the drug cartels are. We're not plastering their names and faces all over our news media for some reason. And that's exactly what we should do because they're killing tens of thousands of Americans by poisoning them. Is it time to label the drug cartels an existential threat to this country? Absolutely, absolutely. Whether we call them, whether we label them officially a terrorist organization or, or an international criminal organization, either way, we need more law enforcement tools and potentially military tools to deal with them. We are at that point. We, we have a case, we have 80,000 deaths a year, and we can directly draw it back to a very specific organization just south of our border. And we don't talk about it like it's an existential national security threat. We need to be talking about it that way. Two years into his term and President Joe Biden has chosen not to lay eyes on the challenge on the border. Even Democrats here are privately fuming. Your thoughts? That they should be fuming. It's, it's unconscionable that a sitting president who uh, under his constitutional duty is supposed to execute the laws of the land faithfully is refusing to do so and he's refusing to even go down and visit it. But this administration doesn't care. And, and, and listen, it's not that they're incompetent. They do not want to enforce the border. They want illegal immigration. Progressives have labeled the alarm as xenophobic, even racist. Uh, what do you think of those type of charges? Well, then maybe they need to explain why in South Texas you have Hispanic voters in droves voting Republican primarily because of the border issue. Again, it, 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 if, if they want to, if they want to bypass honest debate and just insult others and say that they're racist or xenophobic because they want a, a secure border, fine. But they're going to lose that argument because because everybody knows that it's disingenuous. It's about a moral issue of of prioritizing legal immigrants who at least try to do it the right way and get in line like everybody else. Where 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 where's their outrage about about? about uh, anyone from any other country, Hispanic Americans included, who did it the right way and now feel like there's an injustice against them because everybody else can just walk across. Governor Greg Abbott has been sending hundreds of immigrants who have gone voluntarily to northern cities. Uh, good strategy, bad strategy. Seems like a good strategy to me. Uh, it's gotten a lot of attention. Look, that was the whole point. People say, oh, this is just political theater. You know what, in this case, I actually agree, but I actually also agree that that was the entire point, and at least it's got us talking about it. Even though they all love to put signs out in front of the yard ER that say no human being is illegal, well, I guess that's only true if it's not in your neighborhood, right? So I, I love what these governors are doing. It draws attention to a very specific problem, and it calls out the hypocrisy of the left here. All right, Congressman, is there any genuine, bipartisan, pragmatic move towards immigration reform and border security? So I'm not sure Democrats care about this issue at all. I think they want the outcome that we're seeing. Okay, guys, my one word description, alarming. Stephen, what's your word? I got a lot of words, but for right now, I'll just say criticism. Rudy, what's your word? My word, escalation. Okay, stick with us as the Fox Texas Trio unpacks Congressman Crenshaw's outcry on immigration, on border security, and on the role the ongoing crisis will play in the midterm election.